There is an old Native American proverb that speaks of the earth. Treat the earth well. It was not given to you by your parents. It was loaned to you by your children. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. The effects of climate change are varied, complex, interrelated, and significant. As we understand how climate change effects occur and accumulate, we can better predict and assess impacts and vulnerabilities in our specific communities. As greenhouse gas emissions increase, the global greenhouse effect also increases. This drives changes in climate characteristics, leading to a variety of cascading effects that pose threats to human lives and communities. The next five videos will detail the cascading effects of each of the five primary climate change exposures seen here. Exposures refer to the contact between a person and one or more stressors, biological, psychosocial, emotional, chemical, and physical stressors are all affected by climate change. Contact to exposures may be a single instance or occur repeatedly over time. Contact may occur in one location or over a wider geographic area. In this training, we refer to some extreme events as exposures that can result in community impacts. Extreme events include storms and flooding, drought, temperature extremes, wildfire, and melting ice and sea level rise. Here are some exposure examples. Communities that expect greater levels of flooding may experience more incidents of impassable roadways. Water damage and moisture can lead to mold growth in homes and businesses. Flooding and the resulting damage can threaten physical, mental, socioeconomic, cultural, and spiritual health of tribal members and communities. Elevated temperatures lead to intense heat waves. Prolonged extreme heat can cause growth of pathogens in sources of drinking water, leading to gastrointestinal illness. These illnesses are especially dangerous for elders and children. Water insecurity and worsened air quality are examples of secondary exposures that are triggered by primary climate exposures. How much an individual or community is impacted by primary and secondary exposures will depend upon certain community characteristics. These characteristics can increase sensitivity, but also allow a community to better adapt to exposures. High populations of individuals with chronic health conditions may increase susceptibility. Having more readily available resources can allow a community to adapt to climate change. Impacts affect a community's valued assets, ranging from tribal sovereignty to economic opportunities. Other assets include infrastructure, wildlife, and community cohesion. According to the U.S. Global Change Research Program's Climate and Health Assessment, health impacts associated with climate-related changes in exposure to extreme events include death, injury or illness, exacerbation of underlying medical conditions, and adverse effects on mental health. Many types of extreme events related to climate change cause disruption of infrastructure including power, water, transportation, and communication systems that are essential to maintaining access to healthcare and emergency response services and safeguarding human health. The Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium's report on climate change in Kiana, Alaska, strategies for community health provides words of hope. Through adaptation, negative health effects can be prevented. The following five short videos will provide an overview of each primary climate exposure. Key factors from the latest research and literature, as well as secondary exposures, will be discussed. Sample strategies to address these impacts relevant to tribal case studies will be provided. We encourage you to watch those videos applicable to your region, tribe, and experiences.